Toronto's Gary Trent Jr. leads LaMelo and Caruso in total deflections, Chicago's DeMar DeRozan looks like an MVP candidate, and LA's near 38-year-old Carmelo Anthony is playing the most efficient ball since his Denver Nugget days, posting a career high in three-point percentage. This video showcases 10 NBA players surprising us this season. While this isn't a ranking, stay tuned until the end to find out the most shockingly pleasant player of them all. Only 21.8% of you watching right now are subscribed, so help the channel reach 50k by subscribing if you haven't already. Also leave a thumbs up on this video, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. Number 10, Gary Trent Jr. Not only has he been one of the Raptors' most proficient scoring weapons, but GTJ's played some clutch defense, which has helped Toronto win several games so far. The Raps have lost 7 of 9, but I expect them to go on a win streak with a bunch of home games coming up. But even during the Raptors' rough West Coast road trip, Gary's been leaving everything out there on the floor with his hustle and all-around production for Toronto. Gary's currently 6 deflections ahead of Alex Caruso and 11 ahead of LaMelo Ball for the league lead among all players in that area. Trent Jr. is also number 4 in the NBA in steals per game, and on the other end, his 17 points per game are a career high. Masai Ujiri certainly made an excellent move by getting the 22-year-old in exchange for Norman Powell at 2021's trade deadline. Number 9, DeMar DeRozan. Out of all the superstar-esque performances that Debo's had thus far, my personal favorite came in his hometown of LA. He turned down the Lakers in free agency, so dropping 38 at Staples, I mean Crypto.com Arena, was stone cold for DeMar. DeRozan's 26.3 points per night are good enough for 6th best in the entire NBA. He's also posted at least 30 points 6 times, with still 3 quarters of the season remaining, and Debo's only failed to score 20 points in 4 of the Bulls' 18 games. DeMar's arrived in Chicago and fueled a Bulls team that hadn't made the playoffs since 2017 to the first seed in the Central Division. Some stunning stuff for the soon-to-be 5-time All-Star and 13-year NBA veteran. Number 8, Carmelo Anthony. The number 9 leading scorer in NBA history has further ingrained his legend status after getting blasphemously cut by Rockets GM Daryl Morey three years ago, seven games into the season. Melo spent a year in free agency, finally getting picked up by the Blazers and posting a few efficient years in Rip City. Further proving the NBA wrong for giving up on him, Melo's shown up to the City of Angels and been the Lakers' biggest bright spot in a tumultuous campaign for the purple and gold so far. I'm still holding out hope that Braun and Westbrook can find chemistry, but throughout all the drama that's gone down in LA, Melo's been the one steady presence who's been there to guide the Lakers to a decent amount of victories in the early going. His 47.3% clip from the field is the highest since 07-08 back when a 23-year-old Mello was putting up 26 points per game. So appreciate the Mello we're all getting to witness because it's one of the better versions of the former 10-time All-Star and 6-time All-NBA player that there's ever been. His old nickname was Hoodie Mello, now it's time to start calling him Efficient Mello. Number 7, Jonas Valanciunas. Without Ingram and Williamson to kick off the season, JV had to carry the load for the bottom-feeding Pelicans, and he's been shockingly productive. You won't believe it, but Valanciunas Jonas Vasu Inuansas is currently leading all NBA players in three-point percentage. Taking two triples per game, the Lithuanian center is making 56.4 of those shots. Valanciunas is also top three in the NBA in rebounds per game. Number 6, Jordan Poole. If you're a returning viewer, you've seen this man talked about endlessly in my recent videos, but Poole's going to be one of the top candidates for the Most Improved Player of the Year award, given his elite two-way impact. Jordan's calling card has been his ability to replicate the impact of Curry, but his defensive play goes under the radar. When the aforementioned DeMar DeRozan went to Golden State, it was one of Debo's rare off nights, as he shot just 4 for 13. A lot of that had to do with Iggy and Steve Kerr's game planning for DeMar, but Jordan Poole deserves some more credit for holding opposing shooting guards in check on a nightly basis. Jordan's currently number one among all players at his position in defensive rating. Number five, Tyrese Maxey. An absolute godsend for the heavily banged up Philadelphia 76ers, Tyrese has vitally broken out into a star caliber floor general. 
without Tobias Harris, Joel Embiid, and of course Mr. Drama Ben Simmons, the 21-year-old sophomore Tyrese qualifies for the sixer lead in scoring and assists. With 19 and 5 averages on 40% shooting from three-point range, Tyrese has helped Sixer fans forget about Ben Simmons. Number 4, Montrez Harrell. A brute force up front, Harrell's proving in the nation's capital that Frank Vogel and the Lakers should have given him more playing time in last year's playoffs. But Montrez has heavily benefited off the change of scenery to DC as he's making a career best, 65.3% of his field goal attempts, which is good enough for fifth best among all players. The scoring outlet down low he's provided to Bradley Beal and Spencer Dinwiddie has been crucial, and he's getting Washington's high volume scores, extra possessions. Harrell's currently 17th league-wide in contested offensive rebounds per game. Number three, Jalen Brunson. One of the quietest breakout players in 2021-22 so far, the Mavs' sixth man is averaging career highs across the board of 15 points, five rebounds, and five assists per game. In his fourth career season, given he's still only 25 with the poised pick and roll playmaking he's displayed for such a young player, Brunson could easily have his own team one day. For now, Brunson's a proficient backup for Luka, who leads a group of underrated yet valuable Maverick role players. Number two, Grayson Allen. Once known as the dirtiest player in not just college basketball, but worldwide, the product of Duke has turned around his reputation in the pros. It's hard to recall one instance where Allen's taken his dirty plays from the Blue Devils over to the NBA, but the reason Allen cracks this list is because he's made notable progression in his fourth year as a pro. Splitting his first three years in Utah and Memphis, Allen did shoot 40% from beyond the arc, but he only posted around 10 points per night in those previous seasons. In Cream City, Allen's nearly tripled his scoring from his rookie year a few seasons ago, and given he's posting an NBA 16th best 43% from three-point range, the Bucks made one hell of a free agency pickup. In terms of Milwaukee's role players, Bobby Portis has been outstanding, but the Bucks needed some help to replace Bryn Forbes and Tucker's three-point shooting, Grayson has done just that. Number one, Miles Bridges. He's still the front runner for the most improved player of the year as he's morphed into Charlotte's number one score, but his efficiency has fallen off a bit this month. Bridges is almost doubling his next highest three point attempt average, as in 2021 22, he's taking seven threes per game. Scarily for his opponents, Miles was making 37% of those attempts in October, but that's fell to 28.7% this month. I'll certainly have my eye on whether or not Bridges keeps up his breakout year, but as I said, for now, he has to be number one in the MIP race, especially considering Charlotte's battling for one of the top seeds in the Eastern Conference right now, and as I said, Miles is the leading scorer. The most shocking player to me has to be either DeMar DeRozan or Jonas Valanciunas. I don't think anyone before the season could have predicted that these two former Raptor teammates would be playing as well as they are right now. I did predict DeMar would shine with the Bulls by making this video, but man oh man, Debo's looked way better than expected. As for Jonas, he's just ahead of reputable snipers in Patty Mills, PJ Tucker, Joe Harris, and Melo in three-point percentage. Jonas freaking Vasu Inuansas, for God's sakes. For next video shout out, let me know your most shocking player in the comments. Community Speaks winner for today is Jack Greenway, who says, I feel like Draymond Green is underrated to everyone who doesn't deeply love basketball and shedding some light on how good he is defensively would be amazing. Thanks, Jack. I'll definitely make a Draymond bit at some point. The top three commenters with the most shout outs by the 25th of December are going to receive NBA merchandise in the holiday season. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.